Hi, I'm Karen Gofillin here at Gofillin's Cafe in Cadence. Today I'm going to show you how to make the chicken schnitzel and slaw burger using the QBA milk buns. We're going to start off with doing our slaw mixture. So we only need half a red onion, just roughly chopped. Next up is slicing our cabbage. So just do the same thing again with our red cabbage. Add two tablespoons of seeded mustard and two tablespoons worth of e-tart mayonnaise. Now give it a good mix and set aside for later. Now we're gonna move on to making our schnitzels using our Goodman Fielder breadcrumbs. So first up, we're gonna make our egg wash. Just need one egg, one cup of milk, just whisk it all together. Now we're gonna add two cups of white wings flour for our schnitzel mixture. Just grab one of the breasts of the chicken. If there's any fatty bits on your chicken, just gently cut it off. So the next part might be a little bit more tricky because we need to cut it in half lengthways. We're just gonna bash it out with a mallet so it cooks evenly. We need to put our chicken into the flour and then flip it over just so both sides are evenly covered in the flour. Just give it a little shake to get the excess flour off and then place it in your egg wash. Once that's done, lay it in the breadcrumbs. Just make sure that it's evenly coated on both sides. Just give it a gentle shake just to get the loose breadcrumbs off and then just set it aside on a plate until you are ready to deep fry it. Once the schnitzel is golden brown, you cut it in half just to make sure that it is fully cooked inside. So now I'm just gonna slice up some lettuce and tomato Cut my QBA milk bun in half and then we're ready to dress up our burger. Put our lettuce, our tomato, our mayonnaise slaw and then top it off with our beautiful chicken schnitzel. That's how you make a chicken schnitzel and slaw burger. Can never go wrong and it's always a popular item on the menu.